This is a Fox News alert. President Trump's attorney, Michael Cohen, has filed a defamation suit against BuzzFeed, the blog, for publishing a dossier of unverified allegations against Trump last year. Cohen told our Serafin Gomez at Fox, quote, I have filed a complaint versus BuzzFeed and Ben Smith for the lie-filled dossier. We'll continue to follow those details. And speaking of the dossier, Fusion GPS co-founder Glenn Simpson testified to Congress back in August. Until now, his remarks had remained secret. But today, Dianne Feinstein, the Democrat of California, abruptly released a transcript of Simpson's remarks and raises new questions about the dossier. During his testimony, Simpson said the FBI found the dossier believable because it had a source inside the Trump campaign who provided corroborating information. Simpson also said that somebody, or his lawyer said, someone had been murdered due to the release of the dossier. Hmm. Congressman Eric Swalwell is a Democrat representing California, and he joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Of course, Tucker. I see you're in California tonight, and I hope my parents uh, take care of you. They're the, probably the only other conservatives uh, in the having area. Di having dinner with them after the show. Good, um, And good. speaking of, I, I want to give credit where it's due, and, I, and good for Dianne Feinstein uh, for releasing this. I think the public has a right to know, and I'm glad that, uh, that she did. Um, I don't think there are a lot of bombshells. I've, I've looked at it. I don't think there are a lot of bombshells, but there is one point that really sticks out, and I'm wondering what you make of it. So in this testimony, Steele says that, I mean, rather, Simpson says that Steele, who's the agent he hired on behalf of the Hillary campaign, spoke to the FBI, which told him that they had a source within the Trump campaign and that that source corroborated there was in a relation between Russia and the Trump campaign. So here you have, in the middle of a presidential campaign, September 2016, the Obama FBI giving dirt on the Trump campaign to Hillary Clinton's opposition researcher. I know you're a partisan Democrat. Does that bother you at all? Well, no. It was, it was before it was the Obama FBI. It was the Bush FBI. These are career agents uh, who serve uh, no, this Republican was the Obama and Democratic. F the, well, I know, uh, but hold on. This was the the FBI controlled by the Obama administration. Not controlled. I'm not saying they're, they're, they're dirty. I'm just Tucker. saying, what do you they're make of that? The Obama FBI tells Hillary Clinton's opposition researcher in the middle of a presidential campaign in which she's running that her opponent's campaign has connections to Russia. I mean. Uh, how is that allowed in America? Well, first, I'll tell you, Tucker, you know, law enforcement folks are, are quite offended uh, by these attacks, calling it, you know, the Obama FBI. They, they, not they an don't, attack. They don't it's give a rip about reality. politics. They don't, they don't care about politics. But, but uh, they have okay, opinions. They, they may not. They may. They may not. Some of them clearly do. We know from Strzok's text to his girlfriend, some of them care a lot about politics and they're open partisans. Some don't. I, I, I agree. I'm not attacking the whole FBI, but I'm saying that we have in the release of this transcript evidence, and I think we both agree it's, it's real, that the FBI told Hillary Clinton's opposition researcher something negative about her opponent. That is not supposed to happen, is it? Well, you know, the FBI usually keeps information on a close hold. You know, Christopher yeah. Steele was a, you know, as I think this dossier lays out, was a pretty credible investigator uh, for Fusion uh, GPS. I don't know what was exchanged between uh, Christopher Steele and the FBI. I think we should know, Tucker. Those are fair questions. But what I think is more wait, important wait, 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 is wait what is alleged I mean, in the was working, was working for Fusion GPS. I mean, t correct me if I'm misstating this. He was, F Steele was working for Fusion GPS, which was on retainer to the Hillary campaign to dig up dirt on Donald Trump. Campaigns do that. Both sides do it. I get it. But he is, in effect, working as an oppo researcher for Hillary Clinton's campaign, and the FBI is revealing sources and methods to him in the middle of a presidential campaign. I, I think, think we should we, find that's out that's what true. we stop the presses and say, what? Well, I think we stop the presses when Christopher Steele stumbles upon evidence that Donald Trump has a financial relationship with Russia. That, that to me, is more concerning. Well, oh, maybe. I mean, I'm sure Trump has. I mean, I don't know. The guy's been in business a long time. I mean, I have, look, I have no idea. But the about his financial relationships with various Russians. I mean, I don't know. I'm agnostic on it. But and some I know of what's what, been alleged in the dossier what, has been proved true. OK, but I'm just saying I know what it looks like when politics subverts criminal justice. And that starts to happen when criminal investigators who have vast federal authority, like the FBI, start talking to the Oppo researchers for political campaigns in the middle of a presidential year. I mean, that is just absolutely over the top. And what did Bob Mueller do? He could have kept him or throw him off the investigation. He threw him off. I don't know what else you know you'd want him to do. He's he's gone. No, he's not on the investigation. We, we don't know that. Actually, it sounds like entirely possible that the FBI paid money 
to Fusion GPS? We don't know the answer to that, do we? But it, that's an open question. It's been alleged, and they haven't really answered the question. Aren't you well, anxious let's, to know? Let's ask it. And, but let's also ask uh, the questions around what's alleged in the dossier. And also, there's a whole mountain of evidence uh, that has been accumulated that's outside of the dossier. And so all of the arrows continue to point to a personal, political, and financial relationship that Donald Trump had with the Russians. And whether it amounted to a crime or not is Bob Mueller's job. But I think we should do all we can to make sure that this doesn't happen again in the next election. Yeah. I just hope that we can keep civil liberties intact along the way. Absolutely. <laughs> I think Absolutely. you agree. Congressman, thank you very much. Of course. My pleasure.